Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a gel polish set using these colors from Model Ones. I've got some tips and I've got the Fuchsia Scales from Nail Sugar. I love the, when the light hits, you get this beautiful purple. Oh, it's so nice. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna use those. Um, so the colors I've got, this is uh, 1323. I think these were all part of sets. So if I can't find them individually on the website, I will link the sets that they came out of. I can't remember which ones it is, so hopefully I'll find them. Um, and if I can find them, I will link them down below. I'm going to apply one coat of white to this nail. Now I'm using 1410. I'm going to apply this to my palette. We're going to do a marble now. So I've got 1410, 1410. Um, I have got 1017. I love these colours, by the way, they're so pretty. I was sorting through all my Model 1 stuff and I found these colours and I was like, oh god, I haven't used these. So I was like, I need to use them. And then we've got 1477. I really like this one. It's the shiz, the shizniz, the business. And then I'm also going to go in with a little bit of the white. 1323, I think that was again. And then I'm going to use my little pointy tool. I need to get a new pointy tool because this pointy tool is broken. The bit keeps falling out the end, which is not very good. So I need to get another one from somewhere. So I've just like marbled it up a little bit. Then you can do this with base coat, but I'm actually using a blooming gel. It's not from Model Ones. It's from Madame Glam. I'm going to, I'm going to use that for this, but you can use a base coat if you don't have a blooming gel. Don't cure it in the lamp yet. So I've got my ombre brush. You can do it with a gel brush, it doesn't matter. And I'm scooping up some of that color and I'm gonna apply that where I want it on the nail into that uncured blooming gel. So as you put it on, it's gonna start to spread out. It's gonna spread its wings and it's just gonna look really nice. You don't have to put the base coat on, but it, I don't know, it just adds to it a bit. I've seen some people do it like this. There we go. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I've done another nail. So this is the same. And I've also got some of that blooming gel on it. And I'm just, I just want to use up the rest of this gel polish because I hate waste. So I'm just putting some of it at the top half of the nail. I don't use it all, I don't think, but. There we go. And then I'm going to leave the bottom half because I'm going to put some scales on. So I don't cure this yet because I want that that bottom bit to be um to be still wet and i'm just going to go in and apply some of the fuchsia scales to the bottom i don't actually like what i've done here um if i was to do it again i think i would have done it differently somehow i'm not quite sure how yet can you see at the, the bottom of the marble where it's, it's starting to it's still sort of spreading out so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to fill this bottom half with scales. They kept moving around. There was a bit too much blooming gel on it, I think. And uh, it was it was it became a little bit annoying for me. <laughs> um, but I got there in the end. So I'm just going to fill up the bottom. And then once I'm happy with how many I've got in there, which is this many, I might even add another one on actually after I've turn the camera off but i popped that in the lamp to cure i can't remember to be honest um the next nail i'm using 1410 and the other two oh hang on that 1410 is a new color i've not shown you yet so i'm using i can't remember what this one is but i'm going to do an ombre And then I'm using a, the, a light pink at the bottom. I'm using my Born Pretty Ombre brush to blend the colours together. They blended together really well. Again, when I do the ombres, I use thin layers and I find that they blend together a lot easier. I think it's a lot easier to have little product than it is to flood the nail with product. So this one is the 1017. The bottom blend I had to work at for a little bit longer because the you've got a light one and a dark one so I had to I had to work at it a little bit longer but it wasn't it wasn't too bad it's like it was not like I was there all day you know and then once I'm happy I will pop that into the lamp I can't believe it's Monday already 
This is our third week, the third week of the kids being at home and it's gone really quickly. I think anyway, I know some people are really struggling. I Initially I was, but I'm doing all right now. I'm just grateful for like FaceTime and stuff like that because I've still been able to speak to my mum and my dad. And obviously, you know, anyone else. Not that I've got many friends that I want to talk to really. <laughs> not because I haven't got, not because I don't want to talk to them, it's because I haven't got any. <laughs> Although I've got my bestie. I love my bestie. There we go. Right. And I'm so I'm just going in with the second the second uh ugh, I'm way behind, but obviously I've gone in with the second layer and I'm just gonna blend them in together as well. Again, working a little bit longer at the bottom. But it gets there eventually. It kind of makes another sort of pink, doesn't it? I love doing ombres now. Gel polish ombres, I love them. Now I've sussed them out. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that all day. <laughs> Pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Oh no, I leave it to, for a bit to settle. I leave it for a few seconds just because some people say that they're left with lots of lumps and bumps. Well, I leave it to settle for a little bit before I cure it in the lamp. So on this one, I'm using a, a layer of base coat because, I'll tell you why, when I top coat, the top coat doesn't like to stick to those scales. So I thought, right, I'll use a layer of base coat. And then, right, don't forget we've got some scales sticking out there as well. So we need to sort that out. Right, there's that little bit, a little bit there that the scale there where the base coat has come off the scales. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some top coat now. Am I? What am I doing? Oh no, back with some base coat. Just to go over that bit that wasn't covered. And then I have, I think I went over with some top coat. I can't remember. I know I'm rubbish at this. Uh, so yeah, top coat, but now it's cured. Um, I'm gonna file down the sides to get rid of those bits of glitter, the scales that were sticking out because you don't want those poking out someone's nail. And I'm gonna buff over the top as well. It looks like I'm, I'm filing it quite hard, but I'm not, I've only got, remember I've only got I've got two layers of base coat and top coat on this so you don't want to go too mad because you don't want to end up filing through those scales but then at the same time you don't want the nail too thick so I'm just going to buff it now just to give it a nice smooth finish then um, give it a clean wipe over with a brush or a bit of isopropyl alcohol or something or some gel cleanse and then it's I, I like it like that actually but I'm going to go over now with another layer of top coat. So now we're going to have a lovely, smooth nail. Although I'm not too keen at how I've put the, the scales on, I actually really like this one. See, look, lovely and smooth. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Then I'm going to top coat these two nails. Because these are going to be a little bit lumpy bumpy as well, what I'm going to do is, although I've left them to settle, they're still going to be a little bit lumpy bumpy, I will hold the nails upside down. If you're doing this on a client, get them to turn their hand upside down and then it will leave them, you won't end up with like loads of those, loads of ridges in. So now I'm taking 1477 and I'm going to do two coats of this. We're going to do this. We're going to cover this nail completely in the scales. It's kind of the same colour. The scales look very much the same colour as this gel polish. But when the light hits the scales, you get this really gorgeous like purple effect. Which is, yes, which is kind of, oh god, it looks amazing. Um, on the other hand, hand, on the other nail, we're going to use, I think it was 1017. 1017 um we're just gonna do a full nail of this i thought it was like a really pretty pink and it kind of broke up because all the other pink the, the other nails are quite that we're using that quite dark pink so i thought it would be quite nice just to have a light pink to break to break it up a bit but you know what thought done thought he was a fart and shit himself ah I'm so gross. My dog's looking at me like, what are you on? Right, on back to this now. We've put two coats on, cured them in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm putting a very thin coat of base coat on. You don't want to flood this, otherwise those scales are going to move all over the place. So make sure you put a nice thin coat on. 
don't cure it in the lamp yet. You want to apply the scales to the wet base coat. So I'm going to put these all the way up the nail. I'm not really putting them in any... I'm not making it too neat. I just want to make sure they're not overlapping and they're not too far apart that you've got like a big gap. So once I get all the way to the top, it's going to look like this. And now it's ready to pop into the lamp. Secure it for 30 seconds. Then, uh, all right, yeah, so that, while that's curing, I'm going to go over the, the light pink. I love this pink, it's so cute. Really nice for spring. I'm going to pop over uh, the top coat on this nail. Oh, I love that. Right, in the lamp, 30 seconds. This one, we're going to do that whole base coat thing again because um, the, uh, the scales are a little bit of a... A pain to, to get the base coat on I think it's because they're shiny and you know when you put shiny things on they tend to like slip all over the place so I've done what I done before um, I filed I've just filed over it I went to I went a little bit over the top in that corner because there was a scale there that I filed into but I was thinking oh no one's gonna notice <laughs> so see what I mean don't go too mad with your filing um, do what I say not as I do <laughs> But can you see that effect? Can you see those little... I think that's amazing. Anyway, this is the finished set. I really like them in the end. Um, you can get 10% off at Model 1s using my code Natalie00. I'll leave links and codes in the description box for you. Um, you can also get 10% off at Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10, all in caps. Again, the link will be in the description box. I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like if you haven't already. Do consider subscribing. I think about 40% of you haven't actually subscribed to my channel, but you are watching. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and I will see you all tomorrow.